Hey everyone, welcome back to Engineering Education. For this next problem, suppose that we have the following circuit. We have a resistor R1 in series with a capacitor C1, and both of those in series with the parallel combination of an inductor L1 and another resistor R2. And here we're asked to find the poles of the input impedance. So as always, pause the video, give it a shot, and we'll go over the answer in a bit. So to go about solving this, we need to find the input impedance Z in, and then find the areas where the denominator of any of the fractions in Z in are equal to zero. And so those correspond to unstable states. And so to find Z in, that's going to be R1 plus the impedance of the capacitor, we'll call it ZC1, plus the parallel combination of L1 and R2. So that's going to be ZL1 in parallel with R2. And so this is equal to R1 plus the impedance of a capacitor is 1 over SC. So that's SC1. Plus, this is just going to be your product over sum. So that's going to be SL1 multiplied by R2 divided by SL1 plus R2, where SL1 is the impedance of an inductor. And now we have these denominators here. And so the poles are defined anywhere where these denominators are equal to zero. So one over zero is undefined meaning the system is going to be unstable. And so that happens when s is equal to 0, as in this case here. And it also happens when sl1 plus r2 is equal to 0. And that corresponds to s being equal to negative r2 over l1. So here we just solve for s. And so our two poles are S is equal to 0 and S is equal to minus R2 over L1. And if you were asked to find the zeros of this circuit, you would just take the numerator and set that equal to 0 and then solve for S. So did you guys get that? Let me know in the comments below. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, enjoy engineering.